You see, uh, the government of India is very much cautious what is going on in our neighboring country, Bangladesh. Bangladesh's uh, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has taken shelter in our country and the government of India has given shelter to her because uh, India and Bangladesh has a very good relationship uh, for, uh, uh, for decades since 1971. Uh, since the uh, what do you say uh, Bangladesh liberation movement you see what happened everybody is ever everybody all the conscious people in India and uh, across the world know what is going on in Bangladesh and um, uh, today I saw that uh, the uh, US government is not willing to uh, give visa to uh, uh, Sheikh at the same time the British Prime Minister K. Starmer has also uh, uh, declined visa to her but uh, India being a very good friend and um, uh, India is, is a very, we have a very cordial relationship with Bangladesh, that's why we, uh, we Indian people, we actually, uh, we think that Otiti Devu Baba from this philosophy, we cannot deny, we cannot, uh, what I say, um, uh, we, we cannot uh, return our, uh, uh, the, the, those people who are our friends, we cannot frustrate those people who are our friends. So from that point of view, India, government, government of India, um, has taken all responsibility and uh, taken all all all, all measures uh, to protect her. Okay, so um, I I would like to thank the government of India for uh, showing her for showing uh, its um, what is the courage in this uh, uh, turmoil world. I would say, and uh, but with, with along with this, I would say an, a, a very. Uh, um, uh, a very, a very, a very, I would like to um, uh, caution, I would like to, uh, what do you say, um, uh, tell the political leaders that they should be very careful, they should be very, uh, they should be very uh, sensitive uh, for, to the uh, issues of students because uh, like Bangladesh, India is also having many youths who are computer literated. Uh, literate who are educated so the government of india should think about them government of india must not play uh, politics with their career and life and their the policies um, the government of india is making and various states are making for the benefit and for the development of people uh, should be more active and should be more pro student should be more pro people and um, it is a good lesson for india that uh, you may play politics definitely you will play and because it is the duty of the political leaders to play politics but be very cautious this may happen in india also because once the students and once the youths are angry once the youths are united once the students are united no power no power of military no power of uh, government any government anywhere in the world can resist them can what is they can debar them right so they are full of vigor and vitality so uh, always remember always think about the students about about uh, the interest of the students about the interest of our poor people about the interest of all people don't give any emphasis or do not patronize a a particular section, a particular group, a particular community, a particular caste, right? So this is a um, this is a warning to the government. I am just telling to the government that uh, uh, anywhere in the world, not only in India, anywhere in the world, everybody should all the political leaders, all the decision makers must take care about uh, the about, about the interest. The, in, instead of their personal interest, their own relatives' interest, their psychophants interest, they should give emphasis, they should take care uh, of the interests of the students, of the larger community, of the poor people, of the disadvantaged people, uh, right? So, um, uh, uh, so please uh, uh, stop that, uh, that uh, uh, patronizing only your uh, favorite few right here you see what happened in bangladesh they are the corrupt political leaders the corrupt officers are being killed are being uh, harassed and are being tortured and uh, though i do not uh, support the uh, what i say support that the, uh, the, the 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 students will kill the innocent i mean uh, some innocent people some innocent um, uh, innocent uh, officials but i say definitely that uh, those people who have been who have uh, uh, earned money with corrupt
corrupt means by corrupt means and they are they are very um, uh, they are many in numbers so they they must be given punishment if the government if the government if the courts if the uh, law existing law uh, fail to uh, give them uh, punishment or uh, bring them uh, to books the students uh, during this um, uh, during, during this agitation they took the law and order in their hands and they uh, came forward to punish those the, the 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 bad and to protect the good ones so definitely i am happy that uh, muhammad yunus uh, is uh, being uh, he, he has uh, uh, unanimously uh, become the uh, head of the interim government in Bangladesh. So this is a very good choice of our students, I would say. And at the same time, I am very happy that uh, the students of Bangladesh uh, have uh, uh, supported, have, they, they yesterday they have made a Manab Bandhan in Dhaka University and in many places and they are protecting Hindu temples and uh, they are protecting the Hindu minorities there and all the minorities. So this is a very good act of uh, our, our students. You see our students are educated people, our students are, uh, are, uh, are, are educated. Now our students uh, have uh, basic education, basic knowledge. So from that knowledge and from that education, what they are doing, uh, they are doing the best thing because they can handle the situation. They can handle political situation. They can handle social issues. They can handle anything. So they should be they should be given importance. They should be respected, and they should be given proper opportunity to show their show their talents. But if you want to suppress them, if you want if you do not give them jobs. If you do not uh, provide them uh, support, if you do not encourage them, if you do not, uh, what is say, uh, uh, give them uh, proper uh, platform to express their talents or to show their talents to earn money uh, through legal means or through government jobs uh, or through other means, through other legal means, definitely you, uh, your, uh, what I say, your downfall is imminent. So be careful, the political leaders here in India, the state governments, all the state governments, those who are trying to, uh, I mean, uh, uh, give benefits or only or depending on the dole politics and they are thinking that on the, uh, depending on the dole politics, uh, we will uh, continue ruling for um, many uh, decades after decades. So those dream might, uh, uh, might, uh, might, might be shattered. So for them it is a warning. So for them it is a learning. They are, for them it is a uh, what I say. It is a it, it is it is a very good lesson. So I hope that our political leaders, our political masters in different states and in uh, yeah, union uh, also or in uh, Delhi also, they will uh, they will take care of our students. They will take care of uh, the communities and and definitely in India is the India is a, a multicultural. India is a multilingual. India is a multi-religious country. So all the communities, all the castes, and all the people, all the different different caste, different creed, different cultural people, different religious people should be given, should be treated equally, should be given equal opportunity, and should be respected equally. Right? For, uh, in all decision making bodies, maybe a political decision making, maybe a social decision making, maybe in labor force participation, maybe in um, uh, maybe may, may, maybe in academia and in other fields everywhere in industry in academia in social field in political uh, decision making bodies maybe uh, parliament maybe uh, the state, uh, state legislatures uh, and uh, other places and maybe local level uh, governments everywhere everywhere people of all communities of all castes all religions should be given equal opportunity and they should be treated equal equally otherwise today's minor today's minor uh, people may be tomorrow's majority so uh, so once they are angry once they are dissatisfied for a long time they are they may do the same thing what happened in our neighboring country bangladesh right so be careful I request all the political leaders to be wise enough because I know that uh, today in the 21st century ruling and governance has become a very complex and it has become a very tough job for the political leaders, political masters who are not, ma many of them are not very, uh, very, very, uh, very, very educationally sound. Uh, so they should be, uh, they, they, they should be guided by our bureaucrats, those who are uh, uh, talented, those who are educated, those who are, um, uh, th those who know, uh, those uh, who have capability to handle all these situations but they should be impartial and they should work on the basis of ethics right and morality 
and discipline and for the national interest, for the larger interest, not for personal interest, not for a for the interest of a particular section of society or particular political party or a particular segment of society, right? So, uh, thank you. Thank you. I hope that uh, all of uh, Indians and all the political leaders here in India will uh, take a lesson and um, try to act accordingly henceforth. Otherwise, the days, their days are numbered. Those who are, uh, those, those who are trying to uh, what do you say, appease a particular section, a particular creed or a particular community, right? Thank you. Thank you very much.